Being realistic is the most commonly traveled road to mediocrity. Why would you be realistic? I'm an up-and-coming fighter and without a doubt you will see me on the UFC in the, in the near future. Without a doubt. What's the point of being realistic? It's something that truly exists in all of us. It's very simple. This is what I believe and I'm willing to die for it. Every hero you guys had was called an idiot, crazy, a loser. You must break society's status quo. Make a choice. Like, you just decide what it's going to be, who you're going to be, how you're going to do it. Just decide. Uh, I will, I will be where I want to be. I, I, I'm 100% re I'm confident that I, that I will make it to the top. I have the skills, I have the dedication. It will happen and I'll let you know when it happens. The first step before anybody else in the world believes it is you have to believe it. Never say never. Because limits, like fears, are often just an illusion. Passion, passion is free. Nobody can charge you for passion. Nobody can tell you what passion looks like. Because that's all about you. Effort, effort is isolated. The reason why effort is isolated, because nobody can dictate it. Effort is 100% in the mind. No coach, no player, nobody else can make you run to the ball. Nobody else can make you finish the tackle. Nobody else can do it. And when you finally figure it out, how to win real battles, it's final through fundamentals. That's what wins championships. That's what wins battles. Because you don't know what tired feels like. Make a choice. Right? You just decide what it's going to be, who you're going to be, how you're going to do it. Just decide. And then from that point, the universe is going to get out your way. I'm an up-and-coming fighter, and without a doubt, you will see me on the UFC in the, in the near future. Without a doubt. I'm a professional MMA fighter with a record of 4-1. and one. Just believe, believe in yourself, believe that. Believe that you're better than everyone else. Just believe in yourself and be cocky and be confident and just be humble. Train hard. Again, keep believing, keep training, keep trying to learn every day. To me, what's unhealthy is living an unhealthy life. To me, what's unhealthy is getting up and going through the same day every day of your life, nine to five in an office or in a. You know what I mean? That, that's unhealthy. That beats your mind. I don't, I don't work. But I love what I do. And that's why I'm doing what I love. My dream is to be number one, pretty much. My goal is num number one MMA. I want that featherweight belt and I want that lightweight belt. That's my goal. It will happen and I'll let you know when it happens. I'm the fucking future.
You know what I mean? There's two things I've learned from all from these past seven months. Number one is that hard work pays off. And number two is that dreams come true. And that's what's happening. Uh, I will, I will be where I want to be. I, I, I'm, re I'm 100% confident that I, that I will make it to the top. I have the skills, I have the dedication. It will happen and I'll let you know when it happens. But precision beats power and timing beats speed. I knew he would overextend and I knew I'd catch him. If you can see it here and you have the courage enough to speak it, it will happen. I see these shots, I see these sequences, and I don't shy away from them. A lot of times people believe in certain things, but they keep to themselves. If you truly believe in it, if you become vocal with it, you are creating that law of attraction and it will become reality. It just goes to show that hard work and dedication really does pay off. I'm not done by any stretch of the imagination. My handle, I'll handle this loss like a champion. Um, I will not shy away from it. I will not make excuses to it. Um, I lost in there. There was there was errors, but errors can be fixed if you if you face your if you face them head on and fix them and that's it. I will celebrate this like 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 you should. You should celebrate all adversity because it makes you it makes you grow and it makes you stronger. So. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, and this is this is something that uh, will make me stronger. We can either run from adversity, or we can face our adversity head on and conquer it. And that's what I plan to do. I'll face it. I'll take it on the chin, and I'll carry on. I'll learn. Yeah, I truly believe we are all equal as human beings. If we are obsessed with something and we truly pursue our passion with everything we have, regardless of any anything else, if you are obsessed. Work hard, put in the time, you will succeed. And, and that is a philosophy that I carry, my coaches carry, and this is hard work. This is an obsession. Nothing can be hard work. I took a chance. It didn't pay off. I'll be back. Uh, I will. I will be where I want to be. I, I, I'm 100% I'm confident that I, that I will make it to the top. I have the skills. I have the dedication. It will happen and I'll let you know when it happens. I'm an up and coming fighter and without a doubt you will see me on the UFC in the near future. Without a doubt. History books are written, I show up. If we are obsessed with something and we truly pursue our passion with everything we have, regardless of any anything else. If you are obsessed, work hard, put in the time, you will succeed. And, and that is a philosophy that I carry, my coaches carry, and this is hard work. This is an obsession. Nothing can beat hard work. I've been on the end of many defeats in my in my life and I've rose back so I will not shy away from it and um, I will not make excuses for it. I will assess it and uh, come back. So just through, through years in the gym, through, through wins, through losses, through life, 
I just realized that if you say it to yourself and you look yourself in the eye and look yourself in the mirror and truly, truly believe that not a man alive can beat you, then that, that is the way it is. And, and just through, through hours in the gym and preparation, I feel that I am untouchable right now. Don't believe your own hype, you know what I mean? Go out, keep calm, and, and the performance will come, you know what I mean? If we are obsessed with something and we truly pursue our passion with everything we have, regardless of any, anything else, if you are obsessed, work hard, put in the time, you will succeed. And this is hard work. This is an obsession. Nothing can be hard work. Hard work pays, so take, take notes. Nobody works harder than me inside the octagon, outside the octagon. I am a workhorse. Well, August 20th, I get my revenge and I look forward to it. Constant repetition carries conviction. I love proving people wrong and proving my support right. That's what it's about at the end of the day, you know. This is, this is all fun and games to me. I love it. I love my job. It's, it's human nature. Some people will sit and take positivity from that. They will look at that and, and take inspiration and inspire. It will inspire them to go and push for that. Others will share up and critique it and, and, and be negative towards it. But one thing that's for sure, those people will stay where they are. The people who take inspiration from it will rise up and, and also one day experience that life. So this is, this is human nature. Some go one way, some go the other way. But. Make no mistake, I'm setting up to be the greatest of all time. Yeah, I am working towards it and I will, be, I will go down as the greatest of all time. I still envision two and possibly three belts on my shoulder. I'm living my dream. I'm living my dream. I set out to do something and I'm doing it. The last time you were actually a fan in this building was you I was sitting right over there. You were just a fan? Yeah, I was just a fan. When I sat here in this crowd, US 93, and saw all these guys, you know, I realized it's there. It's there for the taking if I put the time in. And I don't listen to no one else. I don't hear about nothing else. I don't, I don't want to hear about nothing else. I still envision two and possibly three belts. If you can see it here, and you have the courage enough to speak it, it will happen. A lot of times people believe in certain things, but they keep to themselves. They don't put it out there. If you truly believe in it, if you become vocal with it, you are creating that law of attraction and it will <clears throat> become reality. I still envision two and possibly three belts on my shoulder. I just said it out straight, beg me, and they beg me. Look at everybody up here. They're all dressed like me, they're all trying to talk like me, they're all trying to be me. Everyone in the game wants this fight. This is the lottery fight. I realize like, that this is attainable. I'm gonna wrap one on one shoulder, it's a beautiful feeling when, when preparation meets opportunity.
was a kid I used to always visualise stadiums. Raising my hand and visualising an arena full of fans. You know, that, that was something I'd done as a kid out, out on my own. But most certainly I'm looking to replicate what I have achieved in my previous promotion, a two-way world champion. Held consecutively. I said I would do it. And I will do it. Sooner or later he's gonna fall. One of those elbows, one of those shots are gonna dig into that soft, sweet spot into the temple, and that's all she wrote. Two-way world champion, UFC history, New York, the Irish are back. I just wanna check on the bottom of me heart.